with the Jigger, Beaker and Flat from Charles Baker, 1939. The second book, which is my book of choice, is a novel by Jules Verne called Around the World in 80 Days. So as you can see from the two titles, the um, linking concept is the traveling. Hmm? Something that nowadays more and more bartenders do. Huh? To make seminars all over the world, workshop, to do guest bartending, and to really be connected at all times. Hmm? So we're going to divide this in three steps. I'm going to be showing you a little bit of the, the storytelling first. Then we're going to go through the cocktail making. And then we're going to be showing you how I link all the concepts together. So Mrs. and Mr. Phileas Fogg, they were the main character in this book, in the novel of Around the World in Many Days. He was a very grumpy and a very selfish man. And he made a big bet of 20,000 pounds with the Reform Club in London, which was a private member's club, that he would travel the world in just 80 days. So it was meant to be a very boring trip, just for the sake of the money. But instead, he had an amazing experience, and he met some wonderful people, that even when he was in danger, he would be happy to help. So he started to understand and to feel that this trip wasn't a bet for the money anymore, it was a bet with himself. With believing in people again, with believing in life again. So being grateful about life. So he started to feel that um, this trip was really opening his mind. But it was only when he opened his heart that he met his future spouse, Mrs. Aouda, a beautiful Indian princess. So he was so grateful about the lesson that he learned from his book, that once back in London, he planted a precious seed that he found along the way in India, that once it would grow into a beautiful drinking vessel, and each and every time that he made a cocktail in it, this will remind him of this beautiful journey when for the first time he met love and for the first time he found the precious seed, the seed of gratitude. I hope you enjoyed the story. So this is a little bit of the storytelling. We're not expecting you to go into many details like this, just to give you an understanding, okay? Now I'm going to be making the cocktail and then we're going to be talking uh, about how to link all these ingredients. So first of all, I'm going to be fast <coughs> infusing some uh, chartreuse. Beautiful French liqueur, herbal liqueur. And, this. and we're going to use some fresh rosemary, just like so. Nice and simple. I'm going to fast infuse it. Like so. And we're going to continue with all the other ingredients. So we start with um, a nice Italian touch, some ramazzotti. this and we continue with some beautiful Mexican citrus note and the fresh lime all the way to a fantastic Indian sweetness from a cinnamon syrup and of course we're gonna have our beautiful Don Julio Blanco going to be a little amount because as we said in the challenge room something light and vibrant okay next we're going to give it a nice stir <coughs> like so in the meantime the rosemary is uh, 
marry together with the green structures. Into the skirt. And of course, we want to incorporate our fast material chartreuse. I love this. I love this. Now, what are we going to do next? We're going to choose our drinking vessel. The first part of our drinking vessel. Okay. A nice little spirit glass. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to smoke some popcorn with some dried um, rosemary. Creating magic. And then we're going to put our popcorn in some beautiful Mexican ceramic shot glasses. Next, we're going to prepare our drinking vessel. We're going to use a nice spring of celery, the yeah, sorry, the rosemary. I'm going to caramelize some uh, fresh kumquat with a um, little bit of brown sugar. I'm just flaming a little bit of the The cocktail is ready to be served to a customer. So, just to link all the elements together, I'm serving my cocktail into a spirit flask yeah, to link it with the title of my first book, which is Around the World with Jigger, Bigger, and a Flask. So, this is the, the first linking element. Then, I wanted to also introduce the outdoor concept by bringing some real sand from my hometown in Italy and talking about uh, the outdoor drink experience, how to make the ultimate outdoor drink is just because I've actually inserted my uh, spirit flask into the book itself so it could be carried around and uh, it's really really fitted with the uh, ultimate outdoor drink um, concept as well because you can carry it around, have a little sip of your beautiful tequila cocktail in your park, why not, with some friends. Hmm? Then, since we've been talking about light and vibrant, I use 30 ml of the tequila and I'm serving the drink with crushed ice. So it's fitting again. The rosemary, I've used the rosemary just to, I could have used any other herbs. Uh, rosemary is just like a, an all year round kind of herb just to show you how to include a fresh ingredient, a uh, seasonal ingredient in your cocktail. The treasure chest. In the story, I've been talking about a precious seed. So I really wanted to give a, um, a little flavor to the judges about something being precious to the, uh, the treasure chest. The name of the cocktail, the seed, actually comes from the seed of calabasa. Calabasa is this vegetable here that it's been used 
to create what is called the Calabash Gourd. That's the name of this drinking vessel. The Calabash Gourd is mainly used to drink mate tea, and especially in South America. So linking the name of the cocktail, the seed, with the seed of the vegetable that they're using. And also this vegetable, the calabaza, is called the West Indian pumpkin. So it's really linked to the, the West Indian princess into the story as well. Last but not least, we have the popcorn, which has been used uh, as a sharing element to bring people together and also to insert a kind of uh, savory note to the cocktail experience. The same savory note you will find in the cocktail itself because these have been uh, smoked with some uh, dried rosemary and in the cocktail you have some nice fresh rosemary notes just to prepare your palate. So the guests could actually pour the drink directly from the flask into the the calabash gourd, or also you could, uh, maybe if he's sharing the night with a beautiful uh, lady or a beautiful man, <coughs> friend, family, just try the popcorn first to prepare your palate with the, the rosemary, the smoked rosemary note before actually having the drink. Would you like to try something? Please. You can have all that. So at the end of the day, what we can do just shave the cocktail like this. And set it to the judges with the beautiful straw made for this glass. You stole my, you stole my uh, ceramic thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know you bartenders. <laughs> well, what you can do, you just prepare your palate, and if you want to share it with nice friends and company, you just use some nice ceramic shot glasses. It's nice and linked <coughs> to the basal art spirit, which is the Mexican tequila, of course. And something like this. So, as you can see, with just one presentation, I'd include both a single serve and a sharing experience. So I hope you enjoyed it. And this is the seat of gratitude. <laughs>